Hi all, Mass Barn Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. I am a member of a wide variety of high voltage and electronics related Facebook groups. And I certainly also hope that you are, or else I can certainly recommend being a member of I take photos of electronic uh, parts, I think it is, and vintage electronic test equipment. Because in one of those groups, I were lucky that a guy working at a university in France put up a huge series of pictures. All kinds of test equipment and lab equipment that the university was simply throwing out. He had a chance to rescue it and he simply just put up all these pictures and told everybody what do you want to buy. I only ask a fair price for the item and also for handling and shipping. And I spotted a high voltage power supply and some uh, copper netting, hopefully, hopefully for a Faraday suit. So uh, I sent him a message and uh, some weeks passed because I guess he was getting a lot of messages about that haul. But um, very cool guy. Um, I'm not going to name him by name as I have no agreement or prior agreement with him about that. But uh, check out the groups and you could probably find the picture collection that he uploaded back then. It is maybe a month or two back from, from now. But um, the packets arrived from France, so uh, let's open it up and see what I got. I'm not too sure how this works, but this seems to have an opening here at the end. Some uh, high voltage probes for the high voltage power supply. Oh, that's a good, I think he said eight kilogram of uh, carbonet here. Ah, it's nice and flexible, that's perfect. So, what do we have here? A Brandenburg Alpha Series 2 made in Great Britain. Regulated high voltage power supply. 5 kilovolt. Nice. And it should be fully working, so uh, yeah, that's uh, just to fire it up. Up under the lid we can see it is date marked 25th of March 1977. Which makes this 46 years old. So this is a nice old unit. At the front we have a 5 kilovolt analog meter. We can uh, do the voltage setting coarse and fine. And there is a polarity indication if it's positive or negative and we get to that when once we look at the back. There is a trip indicator. And I'm not quite sure that must be the current, but there is really no current um, settings or, yeah, like that. Not even at the back does it have any uh, input power, except that we have one amp, two one amp main fuses, and on the back we have a five amp input fuse. So I'm um, not quite sure what that means. Then we also have a mains and an extra high tension button and reset so that that's has, that has to do with the trip here with the reset but not quite sure what mains or eht means uh, perhaps it can actually output directly from mains not quite sure really perhaps i should even look for a manual on this on the inside here we have the mains input fuse rectifier and we have a low voltage probably around 50 volt dc um, DC circuit, which comes from the mains transformer. Up here we have two control boards, probably one for regulation and one for current tripping. Then we have two TO22 transistors sitting down here, which is BDY91. And we have our high voltage, high frequency output transformer. At the back over here we have two 2N3055 transistors sitting at the back. And with the large heat sinks here, I think this is still the main output transistors and we have the drivers sitting over here. Now, half of this cabinet is only taken up by this great box. And it says polarity plus, polarity minus. And yeah, we have the output from the high voltage here, goes in over here, into this gray box. But let's take a look at the back. At the back we can see the mains input over here with the fuse and there is the transistors sitting on the back of the chassis. We can see it's serial number 80N. 
model number 2507R. And over here we have the high voltage output, the red one, and we have a grounding terminal. Now over here there is a uh, large normal jack, which is a remote trigger plugin, which is just bridge over by that. But we can see here we have the same gray module on the outside, it says polarity plus, polarity minus. And we had indicator lamps on the front, and that's because you can actually pull out this module and you can change the polarity by turning it 180 degrees and reinserting it. So it sits here in this 4 nice socket. It has some kind of indicator here. So I actually think that the polarity indication has nothing to do with actually measuring the polarity, but there is probably just a set of switches here being switched on at one side, but not the other. I'm going to bring up the input voltage slowly with my variac, as I do not know how long it has been since this was actually fired up. So let's um, bring the voltage up slowly and see what happens. I have turned the dials down to the minimum point for starters. There is uh, no current draw. I did check the fuses. Uh, beforehand. And nothing lights up. Well, that's a, a pretty bad sign for starters, but we could try just turning the knob here. Yeah, nothing. Maybe I have to uh, push on uh, the main polarity. <laughs> just going to turn down the main voltage again. We switch on mains. Ah, that helped. Now we can see it is in positive polarity. Of course it would help if I turned out the uh, overhead lights here. Well, let's see. Also lights up in trip. So that's uh, probably a safety feature, feature which would be uh, pretty normal to start up in a tripped mode. Perhaps we can reset it here. Yeah, nice. So uh, we should maybe, oh. So we're having a uh, two kilovolt. Yeah, I think that I, I had to make an adapter because the uh, high voltage probe for the red output were missing. So it's not the best connection right now, but we can see 200 volt, two kilovolt just as expected. Uh, I just connect it directly and we can do up to one kilovolt. And at least by that we can verify whether it's delivering what it should or not. So right now I'm turning down to 500 volt. And we can probably find adjust that. Oh, the coarse one is, uh, that's pretty, um, so fine, probably have to stay in the middle. And then you try to hit a target like 500. And then we can use the fine adjustment to go down very precisely. 500 volt DC. So let's go back to the middle position with the fine dial here. And let's go up near the limit of the meter, which should be one kilovolt. And that is as spot on as it really can be. So I'm happy this works as it should. Thank you for watching and I hope you're just ex as excited to see a 46 year old power supply run flawlessly out of the package. It is, it is older than me and I am happy to add this 5 kilovolt Brandenburg Alpha Series 2 2507R to my collection of high voltage power supplies fits right into my interest area. So thank you for um, helping emptying out that university and distributing all these instruments out to all interested amateurs that needed all this expensive or needed or needed that wanted to get your hands on these exotic yeah, parts, equipment, measurement equipment and that really do help amateurs all around the world. So I am 
satisfied with this purchase. So until next time, see ya.